So before I go to the gym, I like to make a nice little smoothie to give me some energy and hype me up before I go. I used to add protein powder to my smoothies before I got pregnant, but obviously I don't do it anymore because my specific doctor recommended that I do not do that anymore. And I just showed y'all all the ingredients that I like to use. I like to use yogurt, granola, spinach, the fruit of course. The fruit varies that I use. Like I use different fruit kind of like every time. And I also like to use almond milk. And I like to usually squirt a little bit of honey at the top, but I think this time I just forgot. But yeah, that's basically all the ingredients that I use. And if you're wondering where I got my smoothie maker from, I got this little cheap one from Amazon. I believe it was $25 and it has a lifetime warranty on it. I might put a little picture of it on the side if I can find it so that y'all can buy it if y'all want it. And yeah, it's only able to make one serving, which I kind of hate. So I probably will get a new one so I can make multiple servings. But it works pretty good. It's just a little small handheld one. But you're just going to see me put all the ingredients in there and then turn on my smoothie maker, make my smoothie, and I'll be out the door. Yeah. I know you feel me. I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Girl, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so much to live for, too, baby. Whoa. Let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all that we got. Hey guys, so I'm currently about seven weeks and four days pregnant and I'm just gonna do like a short little video of what I eat, what, well, what I've been basically eating in my first trimester. Um, I don't have any nausea or any problems like that. So I just been kind of eating pretty regular, but I have been trying to not like overeat like I usually do before I was pregnant. So yeah, that's all, that's pretty much what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be real short and cute. 
I'm going to be doing a lot of pregnancy videos because obviously I'm pregnant and I want to talk about it and stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Hey guys, it's Yazine. I'm back with another video today. I'm in a car on my way to the gym. Um, like I probably seen in my last video, I think I'm going to post that video before this one where I showed y'all what I eat in a day in my first trimester. This is another first trimester video. I'm going to be showing you my workout routine. Um, I started working out right when I got pregnant and it wasn't on purpose because I got pregnant. I literally was just already working out and I just so happened to be pregnant like the same month that I started working out. So yeah, and I'm going to continue to work out because I know it's good for me and the baby and future delivery as long as we get that far fingers crossed you know prayers and all of that but yeah we're gonna go to the gym and i'm just it's gonna this is gonna be a really short video um i'm gonna do a voiceover and show y'all a couple of the things i do when i work out but i'm not gonna make it too long and i'm not gonna get that much footage because i don't really know my gym policies on recording but i'm trying not to get people in it and stuff so yeah i'll see y'all when we get there okay y'all so we at the gym now and usually i like to start with the stairmaster for about five to ten minutes as like a warm-up but they were all taken today and i ain't had time to be sitting there waiting i just went ahead and started doing my cable kickbacks and i do three sets of 15 and as y'all gonna see each set i kind of like do it in a different way whatever is more comfortable to me at the moment and that's personally how i do it i'm not a professional but i try to stay safe and comfortable Then I like to go in and do some weighted squats and I don't know what this thing is called but this is what I use to do my weighted squats and I just like to softly tap the ground with it and I do three sets of 20 on this thing. My weights, I believe my weights are only 10, 10 pounds on each side so 20 pounds all together then the bar is like 45 so y'all can do the math y'all. <laughs> But yeah, this is basically what I do next. Then this is one of my more chill workouts that I like to do and they're called hip thrusts. Very good for your abs and glutes. I do about three reps of these and I do it about 30 times because it's so simple to me like it's not that much work to me so I kind of push myself a little bit harder so yeah I do three reps of 30 and I just use a small weight and I try to keep it on my legs instead of my stomach since I'm pregnant of course then I like to go in and do some side to side planks. I'm not sure what the actual name of this is, but that's just what I'm calling it. And I just do 50. I don't do any reps on that. I just do 50 all the way through. And then I'm going to do my elevated goblet squats. And I just put a big weight down to keep my feet elevated and I hold a weight on top. I just carefully and slowly do controlled squats. And, and I think I do about three reps of 15. And then the last thing that y'all gonna see me do is get on the treadmill. This is not what I usually would do. I usually would do the Stairmaster, like I said earlier. I like to do it in the beginning and the end. And at the end, I like to do it for 10 minutes. But as I said earlier, it still was packed over there and it wasn't any available. So I just went ahead and got on the treadmill and I just did it as fast as I comfortably could so that I could feel like I was actually working out. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more pregnancy content. Bye.